I've always liked when other YouTubers, you know, do a quick bookshelf tour. Uh, my bookshelf kind of grew based on the views of other people's. I think what I have is no other bookshelf. Welcome back to the Muscle Code YouTube channel. Uh, we're gonna start a new top five list with this video. And I have on my on the my YouTube page, on the home page, we have the playlists of each list. So if you wanna watch each the videos um, sequentially for that top five list, you can just go to my playlist, just in case you're interested. There might be one or two people, that's it. But you know what? It's fun to do these and, and thanks for watching. This video will be my top, this, this series will be my top five favorite books of all time. So it'll be kind of a little fun, not so serious, uh, but still the five, my five most favorite books that I've ever read. Not so much the best books or the, you know, the best written, but just my five favorite simply. And it'll just, it'll be fun and you'll see why. So my number five book on my top five favorite books of all time is Pipe Down Nintendo Adventure Books. So this is obviously featuring Mario and Luigi and it's in a choose your own adventure book. And I remember it was in like a book fair in my elementary school where like so Scholastic sets up books all around the gym and it's kind of fun. They put the books out and I remember taking this book, I was with a couple of my friends and like went into the corner, like where like the mats are for gym class. And like we, we built like a fort or something. And then I went down in it and I was, I read this book and I still have it, you know, th more than 30 years later. And it was just like, I remember reading it and it was, it was like a, you know, you did, you fill out puzzles and you kind of choose where you want to go in the story. And I just thought it was so cool. And it has, so, it's one of my, honestly, it's one of my favorite memories ever. So that's why I'm giving it my top five favorite books because if it's the first book I remember reading, if I, it's the oldest book I still own, it deserves to be on the list. And it's kind of up to date. The, the new Mario movie just came out, so they're connected. You know, it's definitely up to date, you know, with uh, the culture. So it's just, it's just really fun. The puzzles are the, all, the puzzles aren't that easy too. Like actually they, they're not easy puzzles. And then based on the puzzles, they'll direct you to it the next page. And then there's times where you can kind of choose where you want to go. And then it ends, the, eventually the story ends. One of these days, like even when I'm retired or I have tons of free time, I'm going to try to collect all of them, but I still have the first one piped down. So. Uh, my number five book and my top five favorite books is Pipe Down Nintendo Adventure Books. Moving on to number four is, is people might be surprised and I'm even surprised myself, but it kind of even adds to the fact that if you see the first video I ever posted, it's the most balanced library on YouTube because I've talked fantasy, I've talked Star Wars, I've talked Game of Thrones, I've talked sci-fi, I've talked self-help, I've talked Nintendo adventure books, I've talked diet books, bios, everything. And my number four favorite book of all time is a crime drama. Uh, Presumed Innocent, Scott Turow. And it kind of, I don't know if it catapulted the, the crime drama genre but it was it was a big hit. It came out in at the end of '86. A movie with Harrison Ford came out in '90. The movie was okay. It's kind of bland, but it, it was a big a big novel in the crime drama, legal drama, legal fiction uh, genre. And John Grish, John Grisham, which who is the most famous author that it, in that genre, actually started writing after Turo. So Grisham's first book came out in '89. This came out in at the end of 86 so it has a little bit of like first dibs there and it's i read i read about 50 books a year every year and you know especially over the past like 10 years and i i, I read through them quickly but this book i read uh, you know a while ago is like a shining light in my memory it's just so good it's so good and 
it, the, char the, the characters feel real. The, the story is vivid. It's interesting, like, you know, with the, the whole, the, the story, the plot is interesting. It's, like, savagely well-written. And the court scenes, it's just like if you've ever been on jury duty. Sometimes you're kind of engaged in the story. Like, you're, you're, you're seeing both sides. And that's just what it does, like, any good um, courtroom drama. And then the ending had a nice, not, not over the top, but just a very, like, smart twist ending and it just it's like it was just a shining light in my past I remember reading this book and it's kind of like one of those monumental books that showed me like what reading can be what like a book can be because up until then this was a while ago up until then you know I was always like oh why you know just watch the movie or I read the book I was into sports you know but this is one of those, you know, those landmark books in, in my reading career that said, oh my, it, hey, this is what's possible, you know, with reading a book and sitting with a book. And I, I remember the, the apartment I was in, I remember the time, and it's just, a, it was just a great time. So a great book during a great time is the number four on my list of top five favorite books of all time, Presumed Innocent, Scott Turow. Next one, we'll go into three and number two, and it'll, it'll kind of be lighthearted again there, and then eventually to number one. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you back. So I've always liked when other YouTubers, you know, do a quick bookshelf tour. Uh, my bookshelf kind of grew based on the views of other people's. I have no other bookshelf.